So this says define matrix A to be three by three and define vector to be length three. I don't know what that means. Like R3? Define f of x equals ax. Okay, so, but I think the idea here is like we want this, the function applied to this vector has to be like matrix composition, right? Like left-sided multiplication by a. And if a is three by three, so we have like a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i. I'm a little uncertain, like I think x has to be in r3 is what they mean by length three. And if that's the case, then isn't each of these sort of, hmm. So A would just be a straight up matrix. It wouldn't be have any variables involved, but I think F of, like, I think X could be like a function of, right? Like if this is X, Y, Z. And if we did this multiplication, what would we get? So if we did this multiplication, oh, I see. We would get a, th a three by one, right? We would get like AX, plus b y plus c z we would get dx plus e y plus f z so it must be something like this right yeah like x1 x2 x3 so i'm just going to label it x y z because those i think are the standard variables that the textbook uses so if this is f of x so I think the idea is that if we do D of F, remember F as a vector with respect to X as a vector, then we should get a three by three matrix that looks like this. So we'll get partial F, partial X, partial F, partial. Maybe it's gonna, I'm gonna save a little bit of space if I do this, but I think it's gonna be like FX, FY. Oh, but it's components though, right? It's like, I need to take the first component. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, how do I even write this? Like D, it's like partial like F1, partial X. <laughs> like it's like the first component of F. And then it's like partial Y, This the it's gonna be component one, partial, partial Z, component one. So it's like, it's something really wonky like this. So partial, so X, I guess, F2, and then partial Y, F2, and then partial Z, F2. It's so weird. Okay, we're just gonna roll with this. I think it, that, that makes the most sense based on kind of what I'm seeing. We do happen to have all of our components up top. So now it's a matter of going back, applying our partials, getting the three by three matrix that we need, which we know is gonna be A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H, I. So maybe that's, maybe that's what we're looking at. We're looking at something like this. So maybe, maybe that makes the most sense.